so we're asking people to take selfies or photographs of themselves um, with and without a face mask. And the reason we're doing that is because we're trying to create this large database of various photographs of people varying in age, gender, uh, race, and ethnicity um, to generate um, new studies where we can ask people to make these quick first impression judgments of the photographs with and without masks. Um, we know that a lot of communication happens through the face. Um, I'm a nonverbal behavior researcher, so uh, it's been very interesting to see how that dynamic has changed over the last few months. Our final goal is to make some statements about um, what a face mask does to communication in hopes that we could create some type of intervention to reduce some of the negative effects we think face masks may have on folks. I can't say for certain what we're going to find. We think race and ethnicity is going to play a role in judgments of mask wearers versus non-mask wearers. Um, we also think there may be some really interesting effects based on age. So I think perceptions may be a little bit different when an older adult is wearing a face mask versus when a younger adult is wearing a face mask. In what direction, I'm not sure, but I think age will play a role. And I think there could be some interesting differences in gender as well. Um, if we think about stereotypes of people in masks, um, it's, it can be perceived as threatening, and I think it can be perceived as even more threatening when it's a male versus a female. Um, although our study is just a perception study of photographs, we think it has larger implications for interaction, social interaction with people you may have just met um, or even with people you know. Once we have those photographs, we will compile them into a set that these new participants or perceivers look at, make these quick judgments about, um, and then we'll have some results to share as well. So stay tuned for that.